I'm gonna give what's left to me. I didn't choose this life, it was destiny. Now I'm feeling like a micro psycho. Stand back, cause I'm feeling like a micro. Slim chance, but I'm putting up a fight, though. They tell me it's the wrong path, but I know it's right, though. But to pick up the world, I'm shaking. Throw it to the ground and laugh, cause I'm breaking. Let the whole world know that I'm gonna make it. And if you don't give it to me, then I'm gonna take it. Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm doing a video on how to get prop hunt for your Minecraft server. And this is also called hide and seek. This is like a it's a popular game now, I guess, in the Minecraft community. Cause I had a lot of people tell me that they want me to do a tutorial on this. So I'm doing it on this, and I'm doing it for 1.6.2. Um, you can still do it for 1.5.2, but just make sure you download like the version for 1.5.2. But for me. If you have 1.6.2, just follow what I do. And prop hunt is basically where there's hiders and seekers, and the hiders they're allowed to disguise themselves as a block in like a arena. And with this plugin, you can set up multiple arenas, multiple games. It's just this is an awesome plugin. Okay, so this plugin requires disguise craft. Um, so right now we're gonna download prop hunt and disguise craft. So on the right, just click the download button. So just click the download button again. And the download will come down here. So Disguisecraft is also in the description. You can go ahead and go to the page and click download. And click it again. This will download Disguisecraft. And once they're done downloading, go ahead and put both of them in your plugins folder of your server so I'm gonna do that now and you shouldn't have these ones next to it yours just should be disguise code but yeah you should have those two plugins and now that you have them restart your server or you just start up your server okay so once your service is done you can go ahead and stop it and close out of it now there should be a new folder in your plugins folder called prop hunt and we're going to edit the config so make sure you have a program like notepad plus plus it's not required but i like notepad plus plus so here you can set up everything players to start um, this, this is how many players you need to start the game so. um, two i guess two is fine this is the interval of warning um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Starting time. I'm just gonna leave it like that too. Secret damage. See, you guys can change all that you want. And here we have the block disguises. Um, so this is stone, grass, cobble, uh, wood plank, and you can add whatever other item you want. So if I wanted to add, let's say, sand. So sand is 12, that's the item ID for sand. If you need a list of IDs, like the Minecraft block IDs, you can Google it or I'll include a link for that in the description too. So 12 is sand, and that's how you add a new block, or you can remove some blocks by just erasing it like that. And there you go. And here we have the two classes. There's a hider class, a class for a hider, and classes for the seekers. They all have armor, and each armor has its own ID. If you don't know it about block IDs, then there's a link in the description. You can look at the block IDs. You can change it up. If you wanted to change the ID for the helmet, you can change that up. And then this is the uh, this is the enchant ID. So it's an enchanted helmet. The ID is zero, and then the power is four. And then the effects this is the effects of the secret class. Uh, the effect is it goes by effect ID the duration in seconds so the time in seconds and then the potency I'll have a list of effects ID in this description and so you can change that how you like hit save when you're done and restart your server again also whatever permissions plugin you have don't forget to add your permissions in for the uh, for your groups, 
besides like the non-op groups, I would give them all these permissions here. You want to give them the describescraft.object.block and then star. This will allow them to change into any block. And then you also need your prop hunt permissions. I didn't put any permissions for my admins because they're ops, so they get every permission. But if you want, permissions are on the same page that you downloaded them. So you can look at that or you can just add these permissions here. Just pause the video, take a look at them, copy them, and there you go. And then save it and restart your server again. And now we're going to head on Minecraft and set up the arenas. Alright, so once you're on your server, you have to create a prop hunt arena. It can be anything looking like this or whatever you want it to look like. I have this arena for download in the description, but this arena is a schematic file. So if you don't know how to load schematics onto your server, then you can watch this tutorial right here. It's really quick. And besides that, let's get started now. So the first command you want to do is slash prop hunt setup. And then the arena name goes here. So whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call mine Arena 1. And hit enter. So it's going to give you five wool blocks now. If you scroll over them, you can see this is the hider spawn block. This is the Seekers, Lobby, Spectators, Exit. And so now we're going to go around our arena and place these blocks down where we want them to. So for me, I'm going to do one side the hiders and then one side the seekers. So I'm going to do about uh, four hiders. And then now the pink wool is for the seekers. You can go around placing these blocks to set up the seeker spawn points. I'll set up about three or four. One. Okay, and there we go. So just place them wherever you want. Now we are going to do the lobby spawn point. So unfortunately, I don't really have a lobby, so I just made this real quick glass platform here, and this is what I'm going to call my lobby. Of course, you guys can get creative, set up a lobby wherever you want. It doesn't have to be inside the arena. But get your blue wool once you have your lobby and right click and says lobby spawn set. So now we're going to do spectator spawn tool on top of the arena. Again, you can put the spectators wherever you want. This is all up to you. So I'll just put them right there. Spectator spawn set. And now the last one is the exit. Exit spawn tool. So for me, the exit is going to be outside. And last but not least, we have set our last spawn. And now it says arena setup complete, so we're done. And the last command we have to do to finish this all is type slash prop hunt host and then the name of your arena. If you remember, I named mine arena one. And then there we go. It says you are now hosting prop hunt. Prop hunt in arena arena one is being hosted by Numero Uno Baby. Now players can type the command slash prop hunt join to play. So you're all set up now. Alright, and if lastly, if you want a scoreboard, like kind of looks like this, you know, like a scoreboard, like that, then you can come to this link in the description, download a plugin called Tab API, and scroll down, you'll also see requirements. You'll also need protocol lib. So just drop those two plugins in your folder and it should work. Make sure you have the right version. So that's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Alright, see you guys.